There's a measure of grace that is unlimited, that is limitless in nature, in manifestation. If you want to enjoy this realm of grace, this realm of favor with God, you need to do His will at all times. You will need to receive grace to do His will at all times. And how do you do the will of God at all times? You become meek. It can be gotten through the spirit of meekness. Who is a meek person? Somebody that is teachable. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So number one, to hindrance, to enjoy the fullness of God's grace is not looking up to him. Looking up to yourself. Believing in your strength and power. Believing in your wisdom. Believing in your wish. There are a lot of people, people watching me now. You are not committing sin as it were. But you are, you are not trusting God. You are not believing God. But you are believing in yourself. You believe in your own personal strength. And most of the people that God has endowed with gifts are, are committing this kind of sin. Number two, not having faith in his word. Praise the Lord. Trusting yourself is different from not having faith in his word. There are a lot of controversies around your life. There are a lot of storm around your life. And you say, it is over. It is settled. And you don't believe it. You are still thinking, how will it be settled? He said, it is settled. It is over. It is settled and it is over. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Everything we see in the whole wide world on earth has been created by the word of God. So when he says to you, either through a servant or through his, his spirit, the Holy Spirit, that it is settled, or you heard yourself, it is settled. How it will be settled should not be your business. You believe. So not believing the word of God living in unbelief, hindered the Holy Spirit. And having faith in his word enhances, increases the favor of God upon your life, increases the grace of God upon your life. You will be grow in grace. The grace of God upon your life will be on the increase. Then number three, doing your own way apart from the will of God hinders the grace of God. So the grace of God is on the increase in your life when you do his will. There's a will, there's a general will of God for us, and there's a personal will of God for an individual. Are you meek enough to follow it? So, brethren, we will we'll be praying. You say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I receive grace to look up to you absolutely look up to you in the name of Jesus. I receive grace to rely on you completely. I hear God shut up I receive grace, pray and receive grace to rely on him completely. Father, this to, the, today I receive grace to rely on you completely, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Without wavering, I receive grace. I hear to Aparusha there. In Jesus mighty name, we pray. You remember the account of the man that came to meet Jesus for the healing of his child. And Jesus said, do you believe I can do it? You will see that relying on God and faith or unbelief is different. If the man does not rely on God for for the deliverance of his child, he will not come to Jesus in the first place. But Jesus still asks, asks him, he said, do you believe I can do this? 